New tonight, using our smartphones to test for COVID-19. Researchers working around the clock to make this technology a reality right here in Arizona. Our Stony Wasu takes us inside the biomedical engineering labs at the U of A to show us how it would work. This will be a COVID test you can take right in the comfort of your own home. You should get the result in 10 minutes and all you'll need is your smartphone and a testing kit you should be able to buy at a local pharmacy. Sounds simple? It is technology biomedical engineering professor Dr. Jung Yul Yoon has been working on for years, even before COVID-19 became a household name. I have been working on this um, smartphone based assay in the past 10 years. So um, this is not new to me. Testing for things like the flu, Zika virus, norovirus, and salmonella. And it works kind of like those glucose diabetes tests you can take right at home. Except with this one, you would need... This is now my smartphone and um, we need to attach a microscope attachment. Found in a kit you would be able to purchase at a local pharmacy would also be testing strips. And unlike the invasive COVID-19 tests that involve nasal swabs, this one would just require a few drops of a saline solution you have gargled, so it is spit-based. You would put a drop of this gargled solution onto the special strip, then... Let's say this is the microscope. So attach like this, and then take a microscope image of that chip. A picture you would load through an app installed on your smartphone. And within 10 minutes, you will find out whether you have coronavirus and... Whether you're in the early phase, medium phase, or in the um, the later, the later stage infection. Dr. Yun says accuracy levels of their tests with simulated samples in the lab are at 90%. If approved, next week he hopes to begin human clinical testing using University of Arizona students and staff. They're going to see a flyer. Are you interested in participating in this research program? And then when they say yes, then their sample, portions of their sample, will be sent to us. With COVID-19 declared an emergency by the federal government, Dr. Yun is hopeful this project will be on the fast track. He calls this an exciting time for science, but... I have a kind of a mixed feeling. You know, the, at one point, you know, the, this is great and we are making a contribution. We are so excited. And at the one, one other point, we should not be excited because our people suffers with this disease. If approved by the FDA, Dr. Yun hopes this technology will be available for use before the end of 2021. Sonuwasu, ABC 15, Arizona.